Hello, my name is Yuki Saito from Toho University, and I will be presenting on eco rooting project that we are doing in University of Toho. What I learned through eco rooting project. The Toho Ecolution, a group that I belong to in university, is a group formed in university, Toho University with an aspiration to do the good for and make better the environment. It's divided into three parts, used paper recycling group, plastic bag group, and Miyama City Work group. We are having environmental activities both in and outside of college. Eco-rooting project, I will explain a little bit about the project. Eco-rooting project is, to, is a project to propose environmental activities to companies so that our activities inside school will be actually the actual project done by company and we are networking with different corporations and companies. We can also make contribution to the environment. So the company can pay us, college students, the sponsorship fee and we will share the results of the project so that the, actually the company can, can make it known that the company is taking their responsibility and doing good for the environment so that it's a win-win situation for both students and companies. One of the companies that we got help from is the Ishida Corporation, which runs a Japanese abacus or a Soroban cram school to develop the human resources that can contribute to society using the Japanese abacus or Soroban. There are some other companies like Amenity Joy House. But we will focus on the Ishida Corporation in this presentation. We started our discussions based on this schedule. On this chart it says in June we will start our activities and we were actually scheduled to start working in June. However, we started the actual activity in October so we were falling behind the set schedule for four months. Why did this happen? The reason behind this was that we couldn't really make our proposal approved by the companies. The main cause of this was that we couldn't really visually present the advantages of or merits to the company. And two reasons behind this. The first is a mismatch between the ideas of students and also the mismatch between the ideas of students and companies. First, among students, we were having a very abstract and different goals and targets. So we had a dialogue and discussions so that we were able to clearly set the objectives for this project. These two objectives, the first, to have an experience of proposing environmental projects to a company and also to, to provide environmental education to children. And the second was a mismatch in the ideas in students and in companies. As students, we had an ideal image of parents, children, or as personnel actively participate in these activities. However, in reality, we had a hard time motivating these people to get to the project. And also, we had a hard time solving and knowing what the companies or company people are actually looking for in us. So we had a lot of discussions and dialogues about these two objects. And on our third try, we could make a proposal approved. The advantages for the company is that the first, the children can learn about the environment by watching videos, and the second, that company can propose a new style of business that never existed before in cram school industry in Japan. This new form of this new style of business is that 
is what they call shitsuke education. So they can teach children about morals or ethics side of people. And I, th we thought that the environmental education can be part of this ethics education. What we proposed as the eco-friendly activities for children was the collection of recycling paper and voluntary other eco-friendly activities. These voluntary environmental activities included creating the video about environmental issues, publishing newspapers, and making loyalty cards that you can collect the points by saying no to plastic bugs. We tackled issues such as the use of plastic bugs, climate change, and of also the recycling of used papers. So this is the video that covered the three main topics. So this was a teaser for our projects and we started our activities. These photos were taken during the actual activities. And the result of a project is shown. So 68 students in total participated in this project, eco-friendly project. And 43 of them participated in the collection of used papers. In Okubo branch, we were able to collect 15 to 15.7 kilograms. And the Horigome branch, we were able to collect 110 kilograms. So in total, that made 125.7 kilograms. And about our videos, on Twitter, it was viewed 112 times. On YouTube it was 692 times. And we had about 400 flyers handed over to people. And what I learned through this project is the importance of having dialogues and discussions and also thinking on the side of the others. And this is the end of our presentation. Thank you very much for listening. <laughs>